Hey yo folks and welcome back to University of Arizona versus uh, UC Santa Barbara. I'm Aaron Yodroid Yoder bringing you the second nice. game of this best of five series uh, here with my lovely co-caster. Flag, my name's Flag. Come on, Yo Droid. Yeah. Uh, no, you, this was your turn. Okay. Oh, I'll, I'll, hi guys, I'm Flag. <laughs> here we go, bands coming out. Caitlin actually getting banned out on the side of uh Arizona. Hi. It's a double bold strategy. I th um, I mean that's a good that's a good ban, I think, especially with the performance last game. Like I you can't I you can't deny that ABC Nguyen definitely knows how to play Caitlyn, so the ban away, good choice. Uh, ouch. Gosh, yo droid. Uh let's see. Other bands coming through. Uh you had two birds for the mid lane, Anivia and Azir. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, and then two really hard to deal with junglers that that stun you real good with Sejuani and Skarner. Pretty much, it's the never move dudes. Um, yeah, I actually, uh, I, I kind of like the fact that um, I don't think Azir is actually a bird. He I'm is a bird. Look. He's got like, a bird face. Like Twitch chat will definitely have my back here. No, if I'm anything, he's a Chimera. If anything, he's a Chimera. <laughs> I, I don't, I don't think he's a, a like metal band either. <laughs> yeah, but he could totally be in a metal band. I'm surprised he doesn't have a pencil, pentakill skin, honestly. Uh, all right, so that is Olaf being picked up along with Malphite for the side of UC Santa Barbara. Gangplank and Morgana going over to U of A. Uh, there may have been a reason that Gangplank got banned out the first time. So that going over to the Anguish one, we'll see how he, you know, he can perform on that. Ooh, Tristana pick up for Can't Carry. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I don't know. Uh, Olaf, not as quite as strong as he was a couple of patches ago or a patch ago. Uh, didn't yeah, he can... change the round? I think so. Uh, but I'm not sure how, actually. I kind of, I might have skipped over his portion of that. Um, oh, his, uh, his Ragnarok got uh, buffed a, or uh, got changed a little bit. Ooh, Vigar coming out. Meteor's picking up that good, good uh, blaster kid in the mid lane. Uh, second band phase coming in. So actually, I would kind of like to see something like a Galio go to the mid lane. So Galio just got uh, buffed a little bit most recently. Sage. So you can definitely pair that with the Olaf to have that uh, ulting Ragnarok threat, have him run into the back line, and then uh, throw the Galio in on top of that. So. Hopefully that might be what they're going for, but that would be kind of uh, doubling up on uh, the knockups there with the Malphite that you've already got. Yeah, yeah. Well, but still, like that's the that's the second best CC in League of Legends. You know what the <laughs> first best CC in League of Legends is, right, Yo Droid? I think it's just you're gonna have to tell me. It's death. <laughs> Oh, yeah, nothing says stop in your tracks like the grave. Uh, looks like the band's coming through, though. The Tom Kench band uh, coming out for oh, University of Arizona, and the Grag is being banned out, banned away from University of Arizona uh, from UC Santa Barbara. Looks like Twisted again. Fate will end up leaving the table as well. Uh, and Varus still uh, being banned out in this round of play. Cogma, oh well, I guess Cogma is not going to get picked up by uh, Can't Carry with Tristana there. Yeah, Unless it's a uh, mid lane Tristana. Unless no, 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 no. Huh? That's actually, maybe. I mean, you've got the Vigar. I think it's probably a bad idea, but you've got the Vigar. <laughs> so, maybe. Yordle fights. Uh, new League of Legends tournament. Um, okay, so Trundle being picked up as well. Most likely going over to the jungler. Uh, going over to God the King for U of A. I have my own reservations about a trundle in the jungle. Um, but we'll see if that is able to be pulled off here for U of A. Uh, Bardly trying now is sitting a little bit on that bard. You will end up settling on the Thresh, though. Uh, oh. Oriana being picked up for Dog and Purse. I know, I'm, I'm kind of disappointed, was... too. His bard is really good. 
Well, it's also really fun to say, you know, Bardly trying is hardly trying to make a play on Bard while casting. Wow. What? <laughs> what? Would you say that entire sentence all the time, or would you just reserve it for special occasions? Also, I mean, Zaya finishing off the pick band phase here for U of A. Only when he picks Bard? <laughs> I Duh. So. I mean, yeah, that's... That's fair. Stupid question from me. All right. Uh, looking at these initial picks, who are you going to give the edge to this game? Um, and even considering man. what happened last game. I. So you do have. I don't know. You just you actually have a, a, an initiate combo on the side of UCSB. Mm -hmm. Um. To whereas on the side of Arizona, you've got more of a just sort of delete one member and sort of conquer from there on out. Mm -hmm. I mean, granted, you also have the Trundle there. So if Trundle can end up uh, throwing the subjugate onto a key member right on one of the tanks, that can be a really big boon for uh, U of A. I think they may have a bit of an edge in that fight there if they're able to pull that off. Um, Zaya recently got nerfed, so early level is going to have a little bit of a hard time shoving against the Tristana. Um, so that might give a slight edge to the bot side. Um, I personally am going to give uh, my uh, my vote of confidence over to... Um, ah, looking at the comps, I'm going to give it over to UC UCSB. This is really hard to do right now as well because we haven't seen skins yet. And we That's all know... <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was the uh, SKT splat skin that really that really brought it home last time for UCSB. Mm -hmm. uh, since you know you had Selvati playing the Zach with the with the cool red goo. Um, yeah. But if Trundle does have the garbage skin, I think that I think they'll be fine. Oh, you mean the yeah. labyrinth skin? The, the, <laughs> Is that what we're the, calling? the David Bowie, the David Bowie junkyard skin? Yeah, yeah, dude. yeah that yeah, one. Dude. Yeah, yeah, that one, the one where he looks like a Jim Henson Muppet from uh from Labyrinth. Yeah, right, right. Yeah, like yeah, a yeah. Jim Henson Muppet from Labyrinth. Yeah. Um, like if if uh, a couple of the the trash pile boys had decided to uh, join just a just a rowdy rowdy punk band and uh, play with you know junky instruments, uh, they call it junk punk. Yeah. I, um, I, I still, I still kind of, I don't know. Um, I mean, I guess the subjugate onto Olaf or Malphite would work for them because mm -hmm. then afterwards you sort of gangplank does better, and then right. Vigar deletes. But uh -huh. I just, they can never be clumped. They, their positioning just has to be right. I mean, they did have some really good positioning last game. If we really look at their positioning last game and their gameplay, um. I do think that they have a chance here. Uh, so you're saying there's a chance. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying there might be a chance. Oh, um, like, I mean, because really, if we look at it, their gameplay last time was impeccable. Um, they ganked at the right times. Uh, their positioning was really solid for the, for the except, like with the exception of uh, a few mistakes from uh from god the king on the bot side and anguished one on the top side but um what it really came down to last game was especially that uh that kogman not being able to get onto him i think they'll have a little bit of a better time popping at least one member um with the comp that they've drafted so i mean like you've got again like the global presence from gangplank now um and then you got the teleport still up there. We'll have to take a look at uh, keystones to really see what we're what we're looking at, though. Um. Yep. Right. Looking looking at keystones right now. You've got comet, predator, comet, uh, fleet footwork, and aftershock. Excuse me. That is airy, the little oh, puppy dog. Whatever. Ah. <laughs> 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 and then uh let's see so gangplank with the uh kleptomancy of course uh, i've got press the attack actually going on to trundle which is really good but uh we'll see how that pans out for him 
uh, unsealed spell go spell book going on to meteors and the win or ADC and win uh, picking up the fleet footwork and uh, yeah you've got grasp or uh, aftershock on to Bartley trying so um, I'm pretty interested to see how God the King performs on this trundle um, so going back to my reservations about trundle in the jungle my biggest problem has been that uh trundle and jungle it, trundle is such a a good split pusher that it almost feels like a waste just using him in the jungle because you can't take teleport if you do that or if you do you're you know giving up the flash uh which means that you can't be pressuring those side lanes the same as you would and still be able to get into those team fights that's my that's my main issue with it but you're just you're in the team fights just immediately. Hello, it is I, <laughs> Trundle. I was here the entire time, <laughs> hiding among the junk piles. Oh Hello. no, it, I, it was it was me, Twitch Trundle. I was hiding. <laughs> oh, okay. See what they what we really should get. Uh, and Riot, take note. Um, so it's essentially what uh, Dota has, and where you can you can uh, uh, oh ability draft, where you can just pick the abilities you want on the champion that you want. Oh please, ability draft! Let me just know, pick right? like six passives for one hero. Oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, I hope they make a, a champion that is nothing but passive. You actually don't have a single um, active ability; it is all passives. Ooh. All right. Uh, well, anyway, looking uh, looking at uh, jungle pass right now, which actually might come into play, especially with um, the junglers that we're seeing being picked up. It looks like uh, right now both junglers are looking for a bit more of a complete clear. You see, uh, Ooh. Body actually opted to take his wolves for going and taking his blue buff. So. They'll both be on the top side very soon. Ooh. Looks like actually God the King having a bit of an edge there. Anguished one just putting out a lot of damage on the Kool-Aid. Mm. Those with those barrels and like parlay. Uh, yeah. There's not a whole lot that in early mouth I can do with that. Oh, and here's the uh, first gank of the game. God the King coming in. Taking the flash away from Liquor Kool Aid, so that was definitely worth it. He can, uh, he can be forced to flash early game. Oh, yeah. the hook landing on Morgana. Oof. There oh, we go, pulling Scatman back. Die. That is yeah. it. Dead. First blood going over to Can't Carry. ADC Nguyen now looking for a little bit of blood. Doesn't end up going for it though. Uh, we'll just kind of back off and. To go back to the farm deal. Oh, but the Ooh. flash Farley trying will end up landing on to ADC and win the final the auto flash attack flash go. forward. Uh, yeah, from can't carry does find its way, and that is two kills now going over to UC Santa Barbara and the dragon. Oh, dog impersonator, uh, trapped inside. Uh, the, uh should be able to get out. Yep. Yeah, there's the uh, brilliant answer from part of the yeah. trying. And an early Drake going over to UC Santa Barbara. Not to mention, like, Meteors having to path very dangerously. Like, er, never mind. Wait, I'm on the wrong side here. I'm losing my mind. Dog impersonator. <laughs> no, yeah. <clears throat> I thought I thought Meteors was going under the town. And I'm on the wrong side of the map. From last game. <laughs> Slow down. Yeah. Well, Never mind. it's funny because the same thing happened to safety. Meteors last time. The same thing happened to Meteors last game, uh, where he was shoved up too hot, too far, and ended up getting jumped on by uh, Salvati twice. So I mean, it's not like we haven't seen that before. So oh, yeah. it's kind of interesting <clears throat> that Meteors was here, that um, Dog Impersonator even got himself into that situation. <clears throat> just, uh, just missed that. Yeah. Oh, you're uh, let's see, let's see. Just, uh, just a couple more cues going out there from both both players top lane. English one gets a whole lot more from his cues right now though. Mm -hmm. Barrel. Barrel. Another. Uh yeah, no, um I really am looking forward to
to honestly about 10 minutes into this game uh, when you see uh, a little bit more coming out of Can't Carry. Looks like Liquor Kool-Aid also doing some fairly good work on the Anguish one. I mean, just now after his first, uh, after, uh, before the first back, right? I mean, still at least playing fairly safe. He doesn't have Flash though, so oh, being up this time, this is what I was afraid of. Safe. There we go. Yeah, no, Liquor Kool-Aid is just gonna try to run out. Not many places you can go. The Anguish one picking up the glass, the uh, kill on the on the Liquor Kool-Aid. I'll spend the end for him. Shout Pushed out. up way too hard. Shout out to Liquor Kool-Aid for walking towards the enemy turrets like I was casting as Wiggies was trying to do. <laughs> like I thought he was trying to do anyways. Forced to flash out, hey, however, you know from Dog Impersonator. Somebody help me off that so, I know. I, I appreciate it. As he told oh, the anguished one, one, though. Yeah. Yeah. Forcing, trying to save a little bit. Forcing that man to worry about scurvy and uh, mm -hmm. eating orange. Hey, rocks don't have to worry about catching diseases. I'm just saying, they're rocks. They don't have to worry about that. Um, yeah, that's a lot of damage as well going uh, onto that turret. Uh, that is now sitting at about, uh, two-thirds health, so, uh, I mean, it's not like UC Santa Barbara hasn't been doing anything with what they've been picking up, so that's been really fantastic. All right, looks like Vigar teleporting back in the mid lane, gonna try to pick up a little bit more. God, the king oh. now caught out in the middle of his own oh, junk. Uh, will... Yikes, yeah, pulls up the pillar right in front of himself. Oh, now it oh, is my Scatman goodness. that's in trouble here. That is another kill going over to Can't Carry. Who is doing a pretty good job of doing that right now. Uh, Can't Carry will jump onto ADC Nguyen. Who will end up falling? That is a double kill going over to the Carry who can't uh, from UC Santa Barbara. You want to you nice. talk about a scary sight? It's like having a Thresh hook you. Um, and Oriana taking that lantern while a Tristana rocket jumps at you simultaneously. <laughs> It's um, like you go from a hook to three members of the team on you. With a lot of bad intentions. <laughs> they just want to be friends. No, they, they, this isn't no a Moo Moo game, my <laughs> dude. Like, we're not a Moo Moo tier. Right, exactly. Up in here. Oh boy. Oh boy, yeah, you're right. It's good. Yeah, it was right on time. Um... Yeah, no, that, I, honestly, I'm, I'm, see, this is why I was looking at this comp from UC Santa Barbara going, oh, this is terrifying. Uh, cause they are pushing this snowball right off the ledge, and when it starts rolling down that hill, it's gonna be really hard to stop. Um, I mean, if we look at, so if we look at items that are built, that are built in the right now, oh, the flash from Bardley trying will end up finding meteors, even with the, uh, uh, event Horizon landing still won't be quiet enough. That'll be another kill going over to UC Santa Barbara. That is a 15.3 gold. Uh, it, er, that is a 4,000 gold advantage. Now got the king looking very low, so Vadi will drop fairly low as well, but we'll get out. Um, but yeah, no, see this right here. This is a uh, 4,000 gold lead in the pocket of uh, UC Santa Barbara right now. That's a, that's a pretty pretty penny worth of money nine minutes into the game. Yeah. I'm um, not gonna lie. Uh, also, especially if first brick falls um, over to their side. I'm not quite sure. That tower's still got plenty left. Uh, that already happened. First brick happened a long time ago. I'm, I'm just out of it. Like, I'm. We're done. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, it's alright. It's okay. Um... I'm here. You're doing I good. I promise. I, I, I'm, I'm paying attention. Why didn't we talk about first break when it happened? Eh, at the time, it didn't really seem because it got picked up by Can't Carry, and it was like, okay, that was going to happen. I mean, it was when they got that kill onto ABC Win and Scatman on the bot side. I, like, it happened, and it was good. So there wasn't really much of a point in covering it, you know? Like, that's part of where they got this massive gold lead from. Um, I mean, already on ABC Win or on uh, Can't Carry, you've got the BF Sword, he's got a Zeal completed, he's got a Zerker, Zerker Boots. Um, 
I mean, so he's got a lot of tools to be able to take some of these towers. Obviously, I mean, he's got a ways to go, but um, he's doing a lot of work in these turrets that ever allowed anywhere near them. So, I mean, the lane swap isn't going to be a whole lot to be able to stop that. That is a second Ocean Drake, now going over to the side of uh, UC Santa Barbara. I mean, look at the damage there. Alright, there is the, uh, yikes, Scatman forced to flash away trying to get out of that. Uh, looks like on the bot side too, the ultimate anguish one will get him out. Silvati now just going to go clean up that jungle. Um, but yeah, I mean, like, already you've got the anguish one still pushed back to that tower. And this is going to be a second tower going over to UC Santa Barbara. Right now, can't carry the monster. Mm -hmm. Definitely, uh, definitely doing what he can to, uh, well, you know, carry his team, despite, despite his name, as we've said before, but what are you, what are you supposed to do with the name that you can't carry? Uh, uh, it does look like Doggy Personator and Sylvani are going to be able to take this first mid-tower. Can't carry coming over for just, like, a celebrity visit. <laughs> celebrity shot or two. Just a, a quick flyby. Um, just a little bit of a... Just, just, just hopping in. Yo, I don't, I don't have time to do this. Uh, just let me take a celebrity shot. Okay, so if if there's anything that University of uh, of Arizona can do in this game in the next five minutes to uh, get back in this game, what do you think that's gonna be? I mean, it's anguished one. I mean, well, so let's look at items really quick, right? Like, yeah. what do you what do you want to see on the play? Like, anguished one already has his Trinity Force, so he's he's got a little bit of damage coming his way. Um, you need you need God the King to get tankier. Um, right. And I mean, Vigar, Vigar will get his damage. His damage will come, right? So like that's, really, that's just a way to get time. I, I think they just need time. I really think they need time. Um, just yeah, like because the more time you give them, the I I feel like the stronger their comp gets. Despite, well, I don't know, because like you're looking at a four-o Tristana who already has her Infinity Edge. Right, like that's I mean that on its own is scary. Um, and that's where I'm kind of wondering if they actually have the time of, that they need to be able to uh, really get the job done and get the items they need. And uh, yeah, I mean with Meteors and Skagman missing such simple spell shots like that, it's a little bit sketchy. That's I think where this game is really kind of looking rough. But we'll just oh, have Barley to trying it. finding Scatman. Uh, but just like finding him, and that was about it. Like, hey guys, there's hey, uh, there's my ultimate. Got what's it. up, dude? How do you feel? How do you feel like you're treated as your support over there? Oh, anguish when you found out how Savati does, so you don't get to have that conversation. <laughs> Not exactly. Anguish one dropping pretty low on the bot side. That was flash forward from Savati to seal the deal onto uh, the top laner from Arizona. Yikes, not a pretty sight. Oh! Nah, Farley trying not trying to take that chain. I mean, mm, yeah, he wanted to. Oh, so body though. Uh, getting dropped pretty low. The subs game will end up going on to him. Uh, now, in the nearly single digits, we'll take the blast going over the wall, trying to get out. God, the king looks like he could be in a lot of trouble here. Liquor Kool-Aid doing his fair share of the work onto him. We'll end up Having that kill picked up by Silvati though, that's a not even close, baby, as we like to say in the business. Uh, <laughs> so it was pretty close. <laughs> it was it was maybe a little close. Oh man, uh, yeah, Silvati getting a scare there a little bit. Uh, Little Kool Aid trying to get a bit fresh up here on this bot side. Uh, that was uh, that was a pretty well executed play though from Silvati trying to get out of that. Uh, using the blast gun to get over the wall, just kind of run away to safety and make God the King chase after you, and you should be good. Um, it's unfortunate that God the King didn't play that a little bit better. 
Alright, defensive for Carroll being launched on the top side. Uh, they've been sitting on that one for a decent amount of time. Uh, Bartley trying, taking a couple of uh, tower shots. The... He, yeah, the uh, chain not gonna hit. He, he was thinking about landing the chain and then he realized that like he'd just be able to orange him anyways. So it why not miss it, chain. right? Right, <laughs> yeah. Oh man, yeah, that sentence is not gonna land. Uh, now it is can't carry on this uh, turret. Gonna try to take that out. Won't quite get the damage down, but that's, I mean, uh, a stiff wind would blow that thing over. They should be able to pick that up with the next pass of minions. And it looks like University of Arizona knows that. So they'd be smart to try to make their way somewhere. Um, oh, there is the uh, shockwave landing on God the King. He will be picked up by God impersonator, by Dog Impersonator, who will miss the flash over the wall. And to be picked up and returned by Anguished One. Uh, but you see Santa Barbara takes up the tower on the bot side in return. I, uh, and another dragon, another. What is the deal with them getting three dragons on the. Uh... Oh, RNG doesn't exist. I, I guess not. No. I guess not. We have three Infernals the last game for Arizona. We have uh, three Ocean Drake this game for Santa Barbara. Like... Huh. Yikes. Yeah. I mean, like, this. what this means for the team is that Can't Carry and Bartley Tran are going to be able to walk up to towers, take a little bit of damage, walk back, come back, and be at full health again in a matter of, like, 30 seconds or less. And that's, I think, one of the scariest parts of what's happening with this whole, like, three ocean drake is that they can get into some of these fights and skirmishes, take a little bit of damage, and not be too remiss in that, you know? Um, looks like Silvati gonna blast himself over the wall. Just, to, just explode one. himself away. Kapow! Explode just, uh, himself to safety. <laughs> He's honestly, at this point, the master. Oh no. Uh, yeah, that's right. Um, yeah, see, look, more of this siege coming out from UC Santa Barbara. They're really trying to make sure that they've got uh, all the tools they have. Oh, looks like Bartley trying to get to take that brave journey into God the King. Uh, God the King running out thanks to the uh, Black Shield coming out of Scatman. So that saved his bacon right there. Um, were you saying that Bardley trying almost took a magical or took a magical journey right there? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, oh, the flash right into the uh, event horizon will end up stopping Can't Carry from getting away, but he won't really need to. Uh, oh no, he took he took, uh, he took he took the hook. That was uh, that was him taking um, lantern that pulled him into the uh, the rest uh, of the event horizon. He didn't flash. Gotcha. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, well, never mind. Yeah, it would explain why he's flashing in the back seconds. All right, this tower will fall, however. It looks like Barton trying to do a little combo. Yeah, Liquor Kool-Aid diver on the backside. Uh, Scatman gonna end up picking up a kill on Barton trying, and also, uh, yikes, Anguish one gonna pick up a kill of his own here. Meanwhile, on the backside, it's gonna be Dog Impersonator going down to ADC in the win. Uh, yikes, not a great way to take a tower, but hey, they got that inhibitor tower down for their team. Um, they're walking away with that, but uh, traded over three kills in the middle of that. Hey, so. they got their blue buff too. Can't carry took, can't carry took that blue buff as well. Yeah, can't sell it short. <laughs> you can't sell it short though. Uh, I mean, yeah, I guess that, uh, that, that does give them a little bit more, um, but I mean, the three kills that were picked up by U of A, honestly, not a whole lot in comparison to the massive deficit that they've got. Um, I mean, they're still sitting at a 7,000 uh, gold deficit. That's schematics, dude. You're just, you're just talking about the little things. <laughs> you're right, man. Blueprints, what are those? You know, it's whatever, right. man. Right. Well, why, why is it important that we add the right <laughs> amount of ingredients into this? Nothing needs to be built fine. Rome wasn't built in a day, and they definitely need schematics. Um, nope. Swinged it. <laughs> this aqua deck look all right to you? Um, all right, well, yeah, hey, look, another buff going over to uh, UC Santa Barbara. Right now, they are just 
grabbing bait behind, trying to clear out this jungle as much as possible. Oh, oh Vibe is trying. Oh, no. oh. Uh, oh the uh, ultimate from Vigard not going to be able to pick up, pick up too much, but can't not carry is going to clear out the hey, Oh, my goodness. Back up. There you go. That oh. is a triple kill going over to Can't Carry from UC Santa Barbara. Never mind. Quadra kill going Wait. over to Can't Carry. I uh, think they can just push it in this game too. Uh, they should be right able to, to win off of that. Uh, I don't know. I guess God the King. Nah, like they'll have people up in time to stop. I, I take back what I said. I don't think they'll have them anyway. They might. They'll be able to do a lot of They've damage. Got to this tower. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you've got a two-item Tristana with red buff. Oh, Dog impersonator looking not to know. Giant in the front side. Uh, will get melted underneath English one's ultimate. Uh, yeah. And now it is going to be God the King trying to chase down Liquor Kool Aid. He's going to be does ult him. Yeah, there's the subjugate coming out onto the rock monster. Uh, continuing to run out, Chilling Smite blasts down onto him. Can't carry. Looks like he's going to take the lantern out, taxi himself to safety. Uh, oh, man. Death Sense is landing and will that end just wasn't up good. landing. No, 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 no. God the King is regretting that one. Um, the uh, Troll King gets trolled himself. Looks like that's actually going to be a Baron going over to UC Santa Barbara. They should be able to melt that down in no time. Yeah, Troll uh, Judge, Troll King, and Troll Executed. <laughs> Scatman looking for a little bit of flavor of his own. Won't oh. end up getting anything, but can't carry. Doesn't want any of that. Pops over the wall. Sends an auto attack his way, and then takes Lantern back over. Hey, this is starting to look like a really, really scary game for uh, University of Arizona. Yeah. Um. It's just. What there's a lot like, of small decisions that are being made that shouldn't be made. There's also one large problem on the other team in a 9 round Tristana. Yeah, uh, oh, um, the Anguish one looks like he could be in trouble here too. Licka Kool-Aid gonna pick up that kill for himself. Uh, don't, uh, don't forget to fast forward. Make sure you're all the way to where you need to be on the time. Um, as... Frustrating. As okay. I think every dragon... Like, is the next one... Is the next one Infernal? Or, not Infernal, but, uh, Elder. Uh, I know. No, Cloud Drake. One more cloud drape. We'll see if uh, Santa Barbara. If this game goes on long enough, if they get every dragon in the game. Honestly, with the amount of power they've got on their side, I mean, you've got a uh, level 13 Tristana compared to the ADC of U of A. Um, oh, speaking of oh, which, uh, ADC in the wind looking really low. It's gonna end up trying to, to get out at least Silvati. Yeah, pop in the heel. Silvati will pick up that kill though. Uh, the anguished one looks like he's going in for a little bit of action, but he's gonna end up getting back to base just to have to save himself. Scatman now going down as well. That is a triple kill, a double kill. Uh, going over to Can't Carry the anguished one. Very, very poor decision there. Ends up getting popped. Now it is God the King left oh. alone. Will end up blowing himself up trying to defend this turret. And that is going to be game for the that is that is second game going over UC Santa Barbara over University of Arizona. You know I don't know if uh, I don't know if she can get any more promotions, but you know I guess I guess promote the special force officer Tristana up in the ranks a little bit.